Hey YouTube, it's Eli, and today is June 19th, 2013, and I'm making this video to talk about my first follow-up appointment since starting tea that took place yesterday morning. Um, my appointment was at 10, and my dad dropped me off, but I was an hour early, um, so I had to sit and wait around for a whole hour, but it was fine. Um, time flew by really fast. Um, so once 10 hit, I went up, checked in, whatever. Um, they checked how much I weighed, um, blood pressure, you know, all that stuff kind of stinks. Um, as far as my weight is concerned, um, the first day of my shot, I was 186.7 like or something. Now I'm 191.8. And, um, I don't feel like I weigh 191. I feel like, if anything, it's got to be more muscle than it is fat. Because I don't feel like I really have fat anywhere. Because I feel like my stomach area and but I guess, um, but, I don't know, um, other than that, everything else was fine, normal, stuff like that, he asked me, um, if I was satisfied with the changes I had so far, and how things are going, and stuff like that, and I said, yeah, yeah, I told him that my, um, favorite change thus far, um, has to do with my hips, um, just that they're a lot smaller and it's not like, um, very curvaceous, it's kind of, still kind of curvy, but, um, not as curvy as before, um, as far as the hip area is concerned, um, I used to have, uh, an hourglass shape, um, but, um, it looks like it's kind of, slimming down a little bit, so, you know, pretty, pretty awesome, I've always been very, um, self-conscious of my hip area, midsection area, and, um, now, I, now I don't really have a problem with it, it's smaller, um, my love handles are smaller, they don't seep over my pants, like, it's, it's awesome, um, um, he asked me psychological questions, um, just physically and my health. He asked me about my asthma, how that's been um, playing in all of this. Um, in which case, I told him it's fine. My asthma hasn't been bothering me. Um, the only time is um, when I'm around animals, which is all the time. Now, as I'm not, but I don't know. It's whatever. Um, then, after I spoke with him for a little bit, um, he, what you call it, I had to take out blood because I have to get my levels checked. This is my first time. So, um, um, I had to wait back in the waiting room and then the lady came and got me. And, um, she was like, I'm gonna take blood, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm just letting you know, I'm not a fan of needles, blah, blah, blah. She's like, it'll, it'll be okay, it won't hurt. And she, like, stabbed me. Well, not stabbed me, but she poked me with a needle. And it didn't hurt at all. Like, I didn't even feel it whatsoever. I'm thinking maybe my, um, <clears throat> a needle fear might be gone. Maybe. I don't know. But it didn't hurt. It was fine. Um, it was simple, it was easy, and then I left. <clears throat> In which case, after I left, <clears throat> I like this thing right there. After I left, um, I actually walked from the hospital to my dad's house, which is a two hour walk. So my legs are kind of sore, but not so much. I'm ready for round two. I'm about to go meet up with my brother. Um, he's getting ready to go to New York this weekend, so I'm just going to meet up with him and whatever, hang out, chill, whatever, I don't know. Um, 
so I have to walk to the train station and then walk to the train station because I'm meeting him at a train station which is a different train station from where I'm going to be on Boulder um, <clears throat> so there's going to be some walking today in which case I'm ready I feel like um, I can do more like physically um, the fact that I've walked for two whole hours just to get home um, is kind of crazy but not really because um, I'm used to it I walk almost an hour every day so it was just another hour um, and it probably took me a shorter amount of time if I knew how to like go the shortcuts and stuff but I just took two streets straight down and that's it so it wasn't bad um, I'm thinking that I really do want to um, start walking more longer distances um, just I like my legs to be toned and shaped and just yeah um, I guess after yesterday walking I decided that um, I want to get more in shape more fit um, not anything where it's like bow with my six pack in which case if I had a six pack I would do that but um, just more I don't know I feel like all the muscles are there and I kind of want to tone it um, and stuff more in the pictorial region if anything is what more in the ab torso areas where I want to work out the most um, because I walk all the time so my legs are pretty pretty good shape um, just everything up I guess is what I want to focus on um, and that's it um, <clears throat> other than that um, I have to meet with him in another four months so sometime in October and at that point I'll be six months on T. Um, so that's exciting to, to think that far ahead that I have to meet him and that I'll be six months on T. Um, what's cool about this place is that um, um, within this week, or within a week, so by next week, Tuesday, if anything, probably before then, I should have my... Um, levels back and um, he said depending on how they are he'll either increase or decrease my um, dosage um, I don't know how I really feel about that but um, you know doctor knows the best I feel um, um, the other thing oh the other thing uh, that we talked about um, is that um, Pazmere I mentioned this a while ago, like in my very first couple of videos, about um, Pab Smear and stuff, and how I was like, I don't know. When he told me about it, he said that I, since I'm 23 and never have had one, that I should do it. So, in the four months' time, so in October, I will probably be getting my first pap smear ever. I'm not too entirely sure how I feel about that. I mean, I don't think it would be a big deal. Um, he told me that I should prepare mentally for it. I'm assuming because a lot of trans guys probably have an issue with that. Just because um, penetration regions um, or whatever. But... Um, I don't really have an issue with that at all, so I don't think that I would have a problem with this pap smear, but who knows, if this is four months ahead, this is me thinking now, in the moment, um, so we have to wait and see really um, how I feel about that. I'm probably just going to ask them. A couple of my friends, uh, how theirs went and stuff, which I find weird to even think about asking a girl, but I mean, I have their plumbing, so 
I'd rather be safe and get stuff checked out and make sure everything's working okay as opposed to just leaving it and finding out something horrible or something like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with checking. Um, at least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. My, that was all of my appointment. It was short. I was there for like maybe half an hour um, yesterday morning. And, um, yeah, that's it. It was good. It was great. See you guys later, thank you. Bye.